welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. We're going to dive in and just see what other messages come out for you. Let's do another Scorpio reading and see what happens, okay? So let's see. Let me put these cards back because I'm going to do... Okay. Now, Ari is in the background, y'all. So if y'all hear her baby snow, she's back here. So if y'all hear her, that's what's going on. It's her making that, that ruckus, singing beautifully with her little Guga Gagas. All right, let's see. What's going on? For Scorpio. Scorpio's energy. What's happening? What's going on for my Scorpio? Scorpio's energy. No, you can't have that deck. You got your own deck. Here. Here you go. Ace of Wands, baby. Passion. Yes. Go work on your creativity. Yeah. All right, let's see. What's going on with Scorpio? Scorpio's energy. Ooh, there it is. Ooh, there it is. 38. That's 11. Villain, you can always rewrite the story. All right, so somebody could be trying to make you out like you the, you the villain. Tower, unplug and relax for a spell. Number three. Threes could be significant. If there hasn't been a tower moment in your life right now, there's about to be one. Some of y'all need to drink tea or drink some tea or sit for a while maybe y'all like tea some, some of you could be buying succulents and getting into yoga purchasing a new attire crystals seashells some of y'all could be getting those <coughs> some of y'all about to there, the moon has been hiding something the, there's a moon here okay Somebody's been doing something in the dark. It's like they've been making you out to be the villain or maybe the villain won in a situation. You feel like the villain won and they hid some stuff. This is somebody that caused illusions or whatever and they caused a tower moment in your life. So you can feel like, you know, somebody did, did you wrong and they won. Let's see. 38. You can always rewrite the story. A hard truth to swallow. Yep. Sometimes our villains win. However, that doesn't mean you should give up or lose all hope. It just means that it's time to rewrite the story and keep going. It can be incredibly freeing and empowering to reclaim yourself after a personal tragedy. So that's what it was. That tower moment. Somebody could have caused a tower moment in your life. Maybe you missed out on an opportunity or maybe something just didn't fall through or something didn't work. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like, dang, like maybe you had to sit back or maybe you had to... Let's see, what's tower? Three. It's time you took a step back and spent some quality time with your one true best friend, yourself. Look up some yoga videos on YouTube. Try out guided meditation. Read a book from a genre you might not usually read. Take a morning stroll around your neighborhood and discover places you've never been before. When we take the time needed to recharge, we are paying the greatest respect to ourselves. So some of y'all, maybe that's what you're doing right now. You're doing some downtime. You're sitting back thinking about it like, dang, you know, that was messed up. You know, whatever happened, whoop de -woo -woo. Um, Let's see. Let's, let's find out what's happening here. But yeah, somebody could have either caused a tower moment in your life or like it, it shocked you that somebody did something the way they did. Like, wait, like, whoa. Like, is that really how this person feel? Or is that really what this person's going to sit there and do? You could have been shocked. Have you found out somebody really wasn't your friend? You know, I just seen fake friends at the bottom. What's going on? For Scorpio, what's going on? Red lipstick stains, evidence of cheating. You could have found out somebody was cheating, fulfilling a fantasy, or with uh, some could be coming out about somebody cheating or somebody's cheating ways. What's going on? Whoa. Uh, what's this? The chill out card. Yeah, you know, just sat back and just kind of let it play out. Like, you know what? It's cool. I'm let it happen. You know, I'm let this person do. Yeah, venting. Talking about your issues. This could be somebody communicating with you or you're communicating with them. And you're like, somebody may be shocked. Like, dang, like that's messed up. Let's see. What's going on? Game over. Yeah. It's done with. It's over. You could just be releasing this. Sports. Somebody was a player. Somebody was in and out. Flaky. This could have been somebody you really was fighting for. Like, you really had a lot of love for. You tried to fight for it. You tried to, um, you know what I'm saying? Prove to this person that you love them, that you care. But somebody just, they just ain't right. Doing drugs, bugaboo. This could be somebody that's very overindulgent. Um, they 
tend to drink, party a lot, something like that. They just bugaboo. They don't get nothing done. They just, sorry, attracting. Very low vibrational energy. Maybe your high vibrational energy attracts this type of energy towards you, and it's just like, or something about them eating off of your light or feeding off of your light. Something like that. Tell me more. What's going on? Maybe you feel like somebody got the best of you or something. Yeah, look, self-judgment at the bottom of the deck. This could have been somebody that had you looking at yourself like something was wrong. Like, dang, what's wrong with me? It's, it was nothing wrong with you. This person just, they just selfish or they just, they don't care. What's going on? Just go up here. Revengeful force and justice. Some of y'all may want revenge or you feel like a long time. Someone needs time for themselves. That could be the reason why you're needing to take a step back or take some time to yourself. Somebody could have been very revengeful, wanting something to go their way. Somebody could have done this to you. They could have cheated on you and then became very revengeful. Like, no, I won't. I want this to turn out the way I want it to turn out, right? So they might have made you the villain. You know, I done been there. I done been the person that was the whole, oh, she a whole, she a slut, she ain't work this, she ain't this, da 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 Whole time, the person that did me all kind of dirty. But they don't want to admit that because that messes up their image. They don't want to say, oh, well, I used her for money. Or, oh, I was taking, I was using her for, so I didn't have to pay child support. Or something like that, right? And they make you out to be the villain and you just kind of carry on with yourself, you know? This could have been somebody wanting revenge on a person when it wasn't even, there was no reason, you know? But you, we don't know why people do stuff like that. What's going on? What's going on? Single woman, not the committed type. Yeah, somebody could just be inconspicuous, not clearly visible, nor attracting attention. Somebody could have been like, you know, why is this person like this? Somebody could have made you out to be like a bad person and you just weren't like, you were single. You were just, you didn't want to be committed right now because somebody cheated on you or you were still dealing, you were getting out of a relationship or a situation where somebody had cheated on you. Maybe they said you cheated and they was like, nah, I couldn't be with her because she she was non-committal. And it may not have even been that. Maybe you just didn't want to commit to this person because this person that cheated on you and stuff, you know, male or female, whichever. Same sex love. Some of y'all just could have been somebody that was into the same sex, tapping in, tapping in the energies. Or maybe they preferred to be with the the same sex. You know, that's why they didn't want to commit. Or what's going on? There could have been another, two feminines involved, two masculines involved in the situation. What's going on? Let's go back. She watching her frozen. Scream. Ghost extremes for attention. Burnout. Yeah, somebody could have been doing something out of attention. You know, wanting to get attention, wanting to, you know. Maybe somebody thought you were trying to get revenge or... Like, like this is that energy of like, surely that person must have did something. If you getting revenge on her or that person, they must have did something. No, that person just, they didn't want to commit or they just didn't want to be 808 on the phone. And it, it there's no, maybe somebody didn't want to be in a relationship with another person because they wanted a third party situation. Like this could be somebody trying to force somebody into a relationship that didn't want to be in a poly relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like trying to force something on somebody and then be like, well, I cheated because this person, or I did this because this person was non-committal. No, you wanted me to be in something that I didn't want to be in. Burnout. Yeah, so, you know, you just, you tired of it. You don't want to deal with it. I don't know. Maybe somebody, maybe you wanted revenge on somebody. On somebody. You know, Scorpios be wanting their revenge. I ain't going to lie. I be wanting mine. But I let, I let, I don't try to get revenge. I just let, you know, the universe take care of it. But maybe you was wanting revenge on somebody. Somebody's like, well, dang, why you do that? And then somebody finds out, oh, okay. What's going on? Gamble, taking a risk. And then marriage. Somebody could have wanted marriage or a relationship or wanted to stay in a commitment or something. What's going on? The Scorpio. Preparing for what's to come. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, crazy. Someone's been acting crazy or will. Leveling up. Your life is about to change for the better. Somebody could have did, somebody could have took a risk on a situation to like get their revenge on you. They could have been like, oh, this person cheated. Oh, this person was non-committal. They could have said this about you. Right? Said you were non-committal. Said that you were promiscuous. Said that you did this and did that. Or you were a risky person to take a leap of faith on right they could have did all of this made you out to be the villain and that wasn't even the true story they could have did all this for attention what's going on what's going on for scorpio you eating what's 
going on? Eating your cheesy bread, tatted person. Some of y'all, this person has tattoos, or they could be a tattoo artist. Someone needs to take care of their health. Maybe you chose, you could have got a tattoo. Something about a tattoo could be of significance. Maybe you got a tattoo of like sobriety or something like that. I don't know. Something about a tattoo could be of significance. What's going on? Succubus. Seduces and manipulates men. Succubus or incubus. Very disrespectful. This person could have been very disrespectful to you. Like I remember this one time. <clears throat> I was really working with this person. Okay. I was working with this person. I was willing to compromise with them and stuff like that. And they became disrespectful, like to the point, like calling me out of my name, turning, trying to turn people against me, make me look bad and stuff like that. So I chose not to work with this person anymore. And so instead of that person being okay with that, like, okay, well, I was disrespectful to this person. I mistreated them and took advantage of them. Okay, I'm cool with that. Instead of being okay with that, they turned it into, oh, this person's a piece of shite, this person, da, 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 and then decided to get revenge on me when I didn't even deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you, why would you try to tear me down and do this and do that? Because you chose to be disrespectful to me and chose to, like, do other stuff, hinder my money and stuff like that. When... I didn't do anything to you. You did something to me. I tried to be reasonable. I tried to compromise. You chose not to. So somebody could, that could be what's going on. War minded. This is what somebody that wanted to in, win at all costs. Karma. Yeah, karma could be playing out. This was a succubus or an incubus energy. What's going on? Narcissist. A one sided relationship. Somebody that was only in it for themselves. It's what's going on here. Made you out to be the enemy in transition. Shed no layers. Yeah, power hungry. You could be waking up to this, realizing this, that this person is just power hungry. What's going on? Someone doesn't want to be seen. Somebody doesn't want their mask to be shown, like, that it has fallen off. Somebody doesn't want to be seen as a narcissist, that they were doing things out of their ego. This could have caused a lot of uh, PTSD. Something to do with sex. This person, it could have been like a sexual connection or they, they don't want somebody to just view it like, oh, well, it was just sex. Like, this person didn't really want me. They just didn't want me to have sex with anybody or they just didn't want, they only wanted to be with me because of sex or something like that. Something about sex is significant. What's going on? Pap smear. Someone needs to get checked. Uh, jump into conclusions. For some of y'all, somebody could be a, okay. Stable woman. They have their ish together. Now for some of y'all, y'all dealing with a narcissist. You know how, uh, what's the discard phase or whatever? Y'all could be dealing with a, like a narcissistic person and they could have, during the discard phase, a narcissist will play you out like you are the scum of the earth, like you did the worst of the worst of the worst to them. And they are literally walking, walking gold, okay? That's what they do. They will, they will tear your reputation down. They will say that you was a hoe, you was a thot, you slept with everybody, you slept with all their homeboys, you were this, you were that. They will, they will say all of that. So people automatically assume like, oh, no, this person's a hoe. Like, this is what this person said or this person's promiscuous. This is what, like, somebody's assuming something. And that's not the case. Now, this could be you coming up as narcissistic. Maybe you're just focused on yourself. You're focused on your well-being, what's best for you. Focus on your money. You know what I'm saying? And somebody's trying to play, take that and be like, see, this person's greedy. They're self-absorbed. They're selfish. No. Like, for example, the business situation, like if I was working with this person and this person messed me over, was disrespectful, not paying me the way they were supposed to be paying me or not showing up the way that they were supposed to be showing up, not doing their part. Like, for example, child, let's do child support. OK, say you're a mom and you're taking care of the kids and this person's agreement is to pay the certain amount each month towards the kids. Well, this person decides they not only going to pay that, but they're going to be disrespectful, be rude, talk to you dirty try to turn the kids against you and stuff like that you're not going to be as willing to work with this person that's my situation i'm not i'm not willing to work with you i don't want to compromise with you why would i do that you don't even have a lick of respect for me not to mention when i try to co-parent with you you counter parent so if i'm trying to get the kids to do this and you go behind my back and you say you don't have to do that or like one of the situations i'm try i put my child in tutoring you turned around and you said, oh, well, just go for a couple of weeks and then I'm going to take you out. You're missing. The child needs tutoring. That's the reason why the child is going to tutoring. I can't talk to you. I can't compromise with you. I'm not doing it anymore. And then you get mad because we got to go to court. 
because you're not paying your child support that you haven't been paying for the past couple of months now, right? Haven't been paying, you haven't been paying the full of month for almost over a year, but I'm, I'm in the wrong. <laughs> That's how narcissistic this shit is, y'all. Like, I'm like, what in the world? But I'm in the wrong. Okay, make that make sense. And because I'm in the wrong, now you want to say, oh, she's a slut, she's a hoe, she's a piece of shit, da 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 but the whole year while you were doing whatever you wanted to do, yeah. living your best life while I was financially yeah. supporting the kids, taking care of the kids while you were working, it was fine. But the moment that I decided, yeah. you know what, you don't respect me, I'm setting up boundaries. Now it's an issue. <laughs> make it make sense. Make it make sense. So y'all could be going through something like that. Or this could be a business contract. Like you showing up, you you putting in your 40 hours every week. And then this person's like, oh, by the way, I know you work 40 weeks, but I'm only going to pay you for five. No, that's not how it works. Not to mention it's toxic. It's like toxic, um, a toxic work environment is all of the above. Right. And then they try to like slander your name so that they don't have to pay you like this. It's kind of like this. So somebody's assuming something. What else is going on? Smudge. Cleanse your space, phone, and self. Some of y'all need to cleanse your energy. Some of y'all need to block certain people, release them. Can't trust them, yeah. Some of y'all need to get rid of certain people in your circle. Stop talking to certain people because they're self-absorbed, hot mess. Especially if you call and vent to people, stop doing that. They like the chaos, yeah. They like, it's like they like to hear about the chaos that you're going through or things that's happening for you. They like to hear about that, but some of y'all need to cleanse that energy. Okay, shady female, because somebody is shady here. Karma, and that's what's going on. Somebody's getting their karma, and you don't ever want to take on anybody else's karma. What's going on? Very disrespectful. This person can be very disrespectful, rude, don't have boundaries. And look at you, stable woman, they have their ish together. You can just be stable, financially free, setting yourself up, whether you're male or female. What's going on? They know how to lift your spirit. Why that? Manifesting, fancy living. This is somebody, you could be this very uplifting type of energy. You always give like good energy, good vibes. Even, even when this person was disrespectful to you, you still gave good energy and good vibes. Okay, what's going on? Set up. Someone's being set up. See, this is a setup. Somebody could somebody that's very disrespectful, shady, trifling, gossiping type of energy. They're setting somebody up, and this could be you. They could be setting you up, okay? Yeah, energy vampire. This is somebody that's leeching off of you. This person is draining your energy. This is somebody literally leeching off of you, disrespectful, not caring, not loving, not giving, none of that. They could have cheated on you. They could have did you dirty, did you wrong, made it out like you was a succubus or an incubus. Like, oh, this, look at this person leeching off of me and look how they're taking advantage of me and made you, I mean, just made you the villain. And here they are just living their best life, doing their thing and just enjoying themselves. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry. Just living their best best life. This was somebody that set you up or set set somebody up here. What's going on? Competition, because they was competing with you. Someone's in competition with you or sees you as competitive. Happy relationship. Gaslighting. They could be in another relationship, okay? They could be gaslighting this person in a whole nother relationship or a whole nother connection, okay? Maybe they see you as competition or maybe they wanted to beat out the competition, so they're trying to like gas like this person, like, yeah, this is what my past person did to me. This is what happened. Boo, 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 boo. Or, yeah, this is my baby mama, my baby daddy, that piece of shit. Or, yeah, this person I work with, they da 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 this, they da 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 But it's to win something here. It's to get like some sort of happy relationship here. Burnout, sexual connection, because all they got to offer is sex. They don't have nothing else to offer. They know they have PTSD. This is somebody that's going through, that's been stressed out or has stressed you out. Okay. Or the, or if they're in a relationship with somebody else, that person is stressed to the max because they know they don't have nothing to offer. Ego to, this is somebody operating out of ego. They're doing this all out of ego and they don't have nothing to bring to the table, but some punani or some, some dangling. Yeah. They ain't got nothing to offer, nothing to show for what's going on. Total Eclipse, two souls merging. They don't want two people to come together. Betrayal, witnessing infidelity. This is somebody who has already betrayed you. They've already shown their hand. They've shown what type of person they are. This is somebody very emotionally abusive. They could be drinking, drunk, or like always indulging in something that's not good for them. 
that's this type of energy. This person is emotionally abusive. They don't care that that talk down on you, batter you emotionally, say all kind of stuff, right? And it's because they don't have nothing else to offer. This is the type of person that you take care of all the bills, you take care of everything in the household, and all they bring is some P or some D, and they're like, okay, here you go. And you're like, what else can you do? Can you can you can you clean? Can you cook? Can you can you work? Can you this? Can you that? Right? And all they want to do is keep partying and drinking. Yeah, tapping in, tapping in the energies. These could be several people around you. So you could be cleaning your, cleansing your phone, cleansing your energy. Like, I don't even want to deal with this. Like, the more you hang around these types of energies, the lower your energy and frequency becomes. So what else is going on? Yeah, in transition, shedding old layers. I see you releasing this here, perfectionist. Because it, and this could be somebody just trying to keep up an image. With the perfectionist, like, oh, no, I'm perfect. I don't do any wrong. Maybe you do something wrong. Ain't none of us perfect. I damn sure know I'm not perfect. I know I done fucked up several times. Maybe I may fuck up on a day. You know what I'm saying? But at least I acknowledge it and say, okay, I've done this wrong. Yeah, can you forgive me for it? I apologize. You know what I'm saying? I've done wrong, but I've asked for forgiveness. If you forgive me, you forgive me. If not, I, I apologize. I hate that I did that to you. I'm so sorry. But that's just how I am. I ain't got no reason to fake the phone. You know what I'm saying? Them the type of people I like. Don't show up like you perfect. Like everything's just icing on the cake type of thing. Nah, baby, it's flawed somewhere. We ain't perfect. We all got something going on. Yeah, unwanted opinions. This could be somebody that's, that's afraid of what other people will think. Childhood fears, afraid of abandonment, afraid of being judged in some sort of way. It's like, baby, we all fuck up. You know, we all mess up. This person could be really traumatized by their childhood too. Stubborn. This person is stuck in it. They just stubborn. This could be something that they grew up as a child. 2202 on the phone. They, this is somebody that's not willing to change. They're not willing to heal. They don't want to heal these, uh, these, this traumatized energy that they have from childhood. They don't want to heal that. And so they could have made it seem like you were the reason for everything. You know those type of people like... You know you were perfect, right? But you admit your faults. You admit your flaws. Like, man, I really messed up there. You know, I take, I did what I did was wrong. You know what I'm saying? I've done that. I've done that. And um, this person just won't admit that. Like, they're no, no, I'm perfect. There is, and oh, that's such a narcissistic trait. I'm perfect. I do no wrong. I am absolutely perfect. And you sitting there like, baby, you did something. I mean, even if even if it was the slightest thing, even if it was like, yeah, you know what? Like for me, say the relationship when I was married, okay, I could have showed up more in the marriage. I could have been more loving and caring and giving. And at the same time, I was I could have been very neglectful at times. I could have. The person that I was married to, they had, you know, they weren't the nicest. They weren't perfect. But God forbid, I was the worst fucking thing ever. I was the worst thing ever. <laughs> Honey, I was... I was the the devil walking. You know what I'm saying? But they did no wrong now. Okay. Hey, if that's what you got to go with to make you feel better, go with it. I apologize for my wrongdoings. I apologize for the stuff where I lacked, where I wasn't, where I could only love because of the, as, as healed as I was, that was all I could give at the time. So I apologize for that. We all do that. We go, we grow, we evolve. I learned my lesson. So sorry. I hope you, I wish you the best. Boop, 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 boop. And you move on. But some people don't know how to do that. Honey, some people just don't know how to do it. It's like, they be like, nope, I am perfect. I do no wrong. You are the evil one. You're like, but you cheated on me. Okay. All right, cool. Whatever. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Scorpio, this is what I have for you. Hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.